Hello, my name is Ian J. Cole. Uh, if you looked at my channel before, a few weeks ago I did a video about whether I needed to wear a protective mask in Hong Kong. I spent 10 days in Hong Kong and I did struggle with the air quality out there. I suffered from asthma and a few other little allergies. And I struggled to get a decent quality protective face mask while I was in Hong Kong. So I'm back in the UK now uh, and I don't really do unboxing but I've, I've ordered two face masks from a British company called Cambridge Masks. Uh, and I thought we'd have a look at them. So I've bought their basic mask, which retails at £9.95. Uh, and I've also bought their, it's not their most expensive mask, but it's, um, it's certainly one of their, what they consider to be a pro mask. And we're going to have a look at both of these and see which one uh, is the better mask, really. Uh, this Cambridge mask is called the Churchill uh, and retails at £24 uh, UK. Uh, so let's have a look at these. So if I open the Cambridge mask, it comes in a very nice box. It's got seals. Uh, it says do not use if the seal is broken. So we'll just break, take the seal off. Open the box. I've gone for size a large. There we go. So there we go. And inside we've got the mask. We've got a one year warranty and we've got a fairly comprehensive user manual. Uh, which is in several languages telling me how to wear the mask. So let's fit it, let's put it on. So all of this, it's in a little resealable. Uh, you have a choice of colours for some of, the, some of these masks. This is a large, the filtration system is right the way through the mask and that collects the air particles what happens is that once you start to have trouble breathing through the mask, then the mask needs to be cleaned, and it can be cleaned a few. It can be washed a few times uh, or replaced. So let's just try this on. We've got some wire built into there, so we can shape it around the nose, and the straps are adjustable. So I can just push that in slightly. So that's what it looks like. The mask that I wore in Hong Kong was a pitta mask, which was f foam based uh, and impregnated with charcoal. Now this feels very comfortable. Uh, I'm quite happy to wear this. Uh, I think I'll be able to wear it. Well, you can, the, the, these straps, stick it off again. These straps are adjustable. There's a little adjuster there. So um, if it starts to feel too tight, you can do something about that. Let's have a look at the basic mask uh, and see whether there is any difference really considering there is the Churchill mask is twice the price. Now initially uh, the, the, the bag is resealable so that's what they're um, looking at this mask it looks fairly similar um, but it's not. The, the Churchill mask is much thicker material and the inside has got a like a silvery lining. You might not be able to pick that up on the camera. The basic mask is thinner, uh, although it has the same sort of filter. Um, it does have the straps that are adjustable, but actually the material is definitely thin, th thinner. So uh, it's uh, usual cases you get what you pay for really. Um, what I will do is I will test these masks and we'll see how they do. Now the question was should we need um, this type of mask in the UK? And what I've tended to find since I've, I've been back from Hong Kong for a couple of months now and uh, I live in 
uh, East Yorkshire in the north of the country and what I'm tending to find is I've got an app on my phone which tells me what the air quality is like on that particular day and whether there's any allergy issues and what I'm finding is that there are certain days where I do need to wear a mask. Uh, I, I certainly if I lived in a big city say London or Birmingham or Leeds or any of the big cities in the UK I think I will be wearing a mask most days because certainly the air quality with with car pollution um, in those cities it usually makes a bigger difference. Uh, I had a trip down to London a few weeks ago and I had to wear a mask on that and it was a Sunday so there wasn't there was less traffic around but I, had, I felt I had to wear a mask and the guidance that I was getting from the app and I'll put links to the apps below um, so that you can actually um, download it and put it on your own phone. Uh, and it will advise you as to when is the right time, you know, what the air quality is going to be like on a particular day. Uh, and then you can, you can take it from there as to whether you need to wear something like this. So thanks very much for watching. I'll do a follow up in these in a few weeks time when I've tried out both masks uh, and when we've I've had days where the quality is poor. If you like what I do, hit the subscribe button and a thumbs up is always much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much. Bye bye.